Hello world, it is Tuesday, September 29th, and a beautiful morning. Blue skies, sunshine, cool. It was in the 40s this morning. Um, I stayed inside and rode my bike on my rollers with the track stand. It's just too dark, I know. I don't feel safe being out on the road uh, on my bike, even with lights on. So maybe I'll get out on the road this weekend during the day and get a bit of a ride in. Today's devotion is entitled Sleepless Nights, and it's written by John Edgerton. John bases the devotion upon Psalm 77, verses 4 through 9, New International Version. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit asked, Will the Lord reject forever? Will God never show favor again? Has God's unfailing love vanished forever? Has that promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has God in anger withheld compassion? And John writes, Sleepless nights are a part of this pandemic for me. I can float through the day exhausted by the simultaneous demands of full-time work and full-time parenting. And then when I lay my head down at night, my mind is a whirl, swirl of worries over the future. What will happen to the church? What if my parents get sick? What if my daughter gets sick? What if men carrying guns show up to the next Black Lives Matter march I attend? The things that keep me up at night are beyond my power to control, but the things that keep me up at night very much have the power to impact my life. It is reasonable to be afraid of this virus. It is reasonable to be afraid of extremists carrying guns. What's a Christian to do? Lamenting to God over the state of the world is part of the Christian faith. Crying out and feeling God has abandoned the world is part of the Christian faith. Sleepless nights spent shouting at God to get off God's chicana and help us get down here, help us out down here is part of the Christian faith. These are hard days we are living in. You don't need to put on a brave face. Not with God, anyway. Tonight, be as honest as you need to be with God in your prayers. God has heard worse. And John's prayer, God, where are you? Amen. Well, a few things this devotion brings to my mind is, yes, there's so much on our mind and so much going on in the world. <clears throat> and what seems to be overwhelming negativity. And much of the media seems to be focused on that. They always seem to be focused on um, stories that sell. The more outrageous and, um, I don't know, obtuse the, the goings on are, the better it sells. And sometimes they even uh, make things out to be worse than they actually are. But I think it's incumbent upon us to not fall prey to that <clears throat> and to look for the good in the world, to create some good in the world. But it's also all right for us, as John indicates, um, to cry out to God, to yell at God, to wonder where God is. He talks about it being the Christian faith. Well, in reality, in the Old Testament scriptures, the, the Psalms, for example, that's the Judaic faith. Oh, and it's a part of the Muslim faith as well, crying out to God in anger and in fear. God's shoulders are big enough to take it, and God will listen. And sometimes we need to listen for God, I think, and see what we might be able to do to change the, tra the, the trajectory of our own lives or uh, do what we can to combat the evil that's in the world, <clears throat> however small we may think it may be, because little acts of um, little acts of love and kindness, um, that if each of us did those, can can go a long way. Even though it may not seem like much to us, we shouldn't stop doing them. I was also thinking of an, of um, a quote. I think it was from Abraham Lincoln. Um, and he said something like, um, Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side. 
for God is always right. So look for what God wants you to do in this world. And if we all did a little bit of that, it could become a movement. So take care. Contemplate that. Think about that. Pray about that. Try to get outside and enjoy some of this weather. It's supposed to cloud up later this afternoon and possibility of rain later. So this morning might be a good time to get outside and enjoy some sunshine. Take care and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.